hello lovely people welcome back to my channel to my family subscribers thank you so much in today's video we'll be learning how to make a jumpsuit i folded my fabric into two with the width being my lap measurement divided by two plus two inches that is 25 inches divided by 2 12.5 inches plus 1 inch 13.5 inch i removed half mark half inch from the upper part and then i'll be marking my hip line measurement which is 9 inches then i'll be marking my crush measurement which is my hip measurement divided by 2 i'll be marking from my waist to my mid thigh measurement which is 17 inches then after that i will be divide, dividing my hip circumference divide by four then i'll place it at the hip line place it at the waistline and connect then i'll also place it at the tie the lap line then i'll connect it here i'll connect it with a straight line then after that i'll be marking one inch here to help me curve the crush it helped me to direct on how to curve the crush you can see it please this chalk is very faint i don't know you can just just listen to what i'm saying then after that at the waistline i'll be marking my waist measurement divided by two plus one inch you can decide not to add that to yours it's optional so i'll be adding one inch for that then i'll curve it like this at the lap line i'll be dividing the lap measurement divide by two i'll be dividing it by two then i'll get the midpoint i'll mark it down so i'll be marking my full length measurement i'll be minusing the half length then i'll be marking the full length measurement which is 60 inches then i'll be adding two inches to it for folding so after that this is the lap I will be dividing the mid tie by two is 22 inches i'll be adding extra one inch to it for sewing allowance i'll be adding extra one inch to it for sewing allowance then i will mark the remaining i will divide the remaining into two equal halves placing my tape at that middle of the la that line that is 22 plus two, 1 inch is 23 inches divided by 2 is 11.5 inch so i will place 11.5 inch here that means 5 1 quarter this side and 5 1 quarter the other side then after that i will connect the line like this so i will be marking that measurement that 5 1 quarter from that mid tie measurement till done of the pants is optional if you want just to be wide enough you don't need to insert the mid tie measurement then just from the lap measurement the upper type measurement you just mark the same measurement down so this is it so this is basically for the front then after that I will be slanting the front side by one inch I'll be going down by one inch So this is for the front we'll go ahead now and cut out the back piece of the pants so i'll be placing the front 
on a folded material and then the cross line is two inches wider than the two inches wider than the front piece then at this upper area i'll be adding two inches i'll add two inches i'll mark two inches from this part you can mark three inches from if you are measuring from the front piece then if you measure it from the back piece you add three inches like this three inches take three inches like this is two inches do you understand hope you understand so this is it then i'll curve it from here i'll be adding that one inch that we removed and then extra one and a half inch to accommodate the board making it 2.5 inches then i'll connect it straight to the waistline So here I'll be marking one and a half inch, one and a half inch. I will go ahead and cut it out. So this is the front and the back piece. I will go ahead to start cutting the upper piece. I will mark my bust circumference divide by 4 and then I will be adding 4 inches to it. Then I will be removing my me band measurement which is one and a half inch. Then I will mark the full length measurement plus half inch. So I'll be removing two and a, two inches for zipper allowance. I'll be removing two inches for zipper allowance. This is the back piece. Then I'll be marking my neck width, which is three inches. You can use three point five inch. It depends on what you want, and the neck depth one inch. I will go ahead and mark my shoulder measurement divide by two plus half inch, which is eight point five inch. Then I will also mark it here, the eight point five inch or eight inches. I'll mark eight inches like this, and then I'll be marking my bust circumference divide by four. Then I also mark the eight and a half inch here and connect it to the straight line. This is my bust circumference divide by four. So after that, I'll connect it my armhole like this to meet the bust circumference divided by four line. So this is it. I'll be slanting my shoulder by one inch. Then after that, I'll cut it out. Cut out the neckline. Then the show the armhole and then the shoulder slant. So this is it. I'll be going in by one inch at the down part to avoid the zip bulge. So from that place that we notched, I'll mark my waist circumference divide by four. Then I'll add that one inch that we took out. Then the remaining one will be our for our seam allowance. I'll be marking my zipper allowance. So this last notch is the center of the back. To cut out the front piece, I folded my fabric into two and I placed the back piece on it. The place I notched, I used it to mark it at the center of the front. Then I'll be adding extra 6 inches to it. I'm adding extra 6 inches to it for the lapping. So I will mark the shoulder line. I will indicate the shoulder line, trace it like this. Then I'll be going down by six inches for the middle of the neckline. That's the middle of the neckline. I'm going down by six inches. Then I'll mark where the neck width started from using the back piece. Then I'll connect it like this to the middle and then extend it to the extra fabric that we added. I 
I will go ahead and cut the armhole, the shoulder slant. So the front armhole is 1.5 inch deeper than the back armhole. You can see it, the thing I cut out. So after that, I'll cut out the neckline. So this neckline, if you want yours to be go below 6.6 inches, you can use 6.5, 7 inches. It depends on what you want. Depends on what you want. Then I'll notch the middle, the middle of the the front piece. So this is the middle of the front piece. So I'll be marking my waist circumference divide by four. Then the remaining one will not be for the seam allowance. If you want to add that to it, remember to add one inch that. I went ahead to cut out the band. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye.